Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Tonight we're going to talk about Easy Blonde, which is a Kolsch style ale by Alphabet City Brewing Company. It's got an ABV of 4.7%, kind of lemon zest and mild grain smell overall. The appearance is pale gold with a faint white head. Our flavor is mostly grainy, followed by bitterness and a slight citrus hop bite, and just a little bit of spice, almost peppery. Very dry beer, um, medium light mouthfeel with gentle bubbliness. Overall, I'd say it's an easy drinking beer, kind of like an Americanized version of the style brewed in Köln, Germany, which is an ale version of Pilsner, essentially. If you wanted to dumb it down, it's like a mix of Warsteiner's Pilsner and a mild but citrusy American pale ale like Sierra Nevada without all the pine smells and flavors. Tonight, let's have this nice little IS2 gameplay in the background while I, while I tell you guys a little bit more about myself. Um, here in World of Tanks, I currently have about 10,000 games played, just a little over. I've been playing for almost two years now. My equipment, I use a uh, slightly upgraded Hewlett Packard Elite also known as the HPE 440F. That's the specific model. The only upgrade so far has been to max out the RAM to 16 gigs, um, but it does the job pretty well. It's running a uh, Core i5 processor, so we're getting where we need to be on the cheap side of things. I do run some mods, but only minimally. Specifically, I like to use Quickie Baby's mod pack, which includes XVM, so I can also tell you that my WN8 rating is 1169 currently it's on the rise though slowly but surely I'm competitive enough excuse me I'm competitive enough to annoy myself but only really good enough to play for fun we we do compete sometimes in the clan in clan wars and stuff like that um, but I'm not you know it's not like I carry the team or anything most of our guys are in the same range or slightly better than me with uh, with their gameplay. So, every once in a while though, I do have a game like this one where I can't say that I carried, but I certainly did my part and then maybe a little bit more. When in a heavy, usually I like to go to the city in this map. My driving is excellent, as you can see, as I wreck myself on the edge of that building. Just barely missed it, couldn't see through the bush, didn't know where the corner was, kind of funny. Um, hopefully that's not indicative of how it's going to go, but since I already kind of spoiled it, you can tell we're probably going to win this one. Um, I'm a little bit worried because myself, the KV-5, and who, who ended up platooning with me, and one other heavy, one other top tier heavy, the IS-6, came over this direction. So I'm the first one here because they both stopped to take some shots at the Hellcat in the middle of the map. Um, by the way, you know, that driving, I'm just going to attribute that to, to me reviewing beer. That's that's totally what happened there. Um, don't don't worry about me. I don't drink and drive on the roads. So here we go, my first shot into that WZ-111 and got a good shot in. Actually penned him. Trying to back up at this IS-6 kind of blocked me. He seems to be a little bit reluctant about uh, taking, taking the top spot that he should with that kind of armor. So, so far I'm trading pretty well. I see this VK3601H and decide I should put around him and RKV5, who I was with, takes him down. Then that AMX comes out and trying to work around. He gets a shot into me. The IS-6 shoots him and I'm able to shoot him back as well. So far, it's working out. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to support our IS-6, even though he's not angling very intelligently. He's just kind of driving out here sideways in front of the IS-3. Uh, he's, he gets shot by the IS-3, bounces off the IS-3. I put a good shot in, and I'm able to back up and get under cover again. Uh, it's always it's always good to be able to use those top tier heavies. Oh, and then sideways out in front of the IS-3 and the WZ-111. I'm trying for a shot at the weak spot on top of the turret and I have no idea where that went. And sometimes even Stalin doesn't, doesn't have the guidance that, that we require even from that short of a range. I don't want to put myself out there too far so I just take a shot at the WZ-111's lower plate and 
our team goes ahead and takes them down. Now I'm going to come around the corner. I put a shot into the IS-3 to track him while our KB-5 rams him. I didn't do any damage from that one. And someone else picks up the kill. We're almost done already. I mean, we're looking here. We've already got, I think it's 12 kills from what I can see. And so I got to rush to get any more damage done. Um, basically, this game is just moving so fast that I'm getting left behind a little bit, especially by faster tanks like that Revalorize. Um, and here's the last tank, the IS-6 here. And I'm able to scoot around the corner just quick enough to put the last one right in his butt. It was pretty fantastic. Kill stealing. That's the, that's the best. So this game, uh, not bad for being mid-tier in a lowish penetration, mildly armored heavy tank. Even if it does benefit from the ever-popular Russian bias. I was top on XP with 948 base XP, but only third on damage done with 1,941 damage. Still, I definitely did my job on this one. I also had 677 assistance damage and made a pretty decent profit. So, I'm, I'm happy with this game. Hopefully I can see you guys out there on the battlefield, maybe play a few. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if there's something specific you want to see. Catch you all next time. Have a good one.